it can't work here. But in those some universities, you can talk about, you know, some of our Catholic universities, they're inviting the president of Planned Parenthood to be a speaker, cannot speak for something. But telling students there are only two sexes, male and female, oh, you can't do that. You are out of here. So what are our values? <laughs> okay. So in other words, what is inscri inscribed in nature by God is foolish, and what we have come up with, which is best for us, so we think, is sacrosanct. So you see, when we no longer receive from God, the human heart, the human soul becomes blind to reality. So 348, the Sabbath is at the heart of Israel's law, just as the new Sabbath is at the heart of the church's law. To keep the commandments is to correspond to the wisdom and the will of God as expressed in his works of creation. Now that's a very you know, key statement, to keep the commandments, meaning to live up to God's will corresponds to his wisdom and his will. So how do I know that I am doing the will of God and I am being like God? How do I know that I am good? Keep his commandments. Keeping the commandments. Okay. The letter of John tells us, if you say you love God, you don't keep the commandments, you are a liar. That's how we know. Because it corresponds to the wisdom and will of God expressed in his works. And so when Jesus says to us in the new commandment, in the new covenant, do this. What is he asking us to do? Remember the seventh day, God basically is commanding Adam and Eve creation, do this. Okay? Do this for your own good. Unless you worship, you have no life in you. That's exactly what Jesus says in John 6. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life within you. How do we eat the flesh and drink the blood of the Son of Man? Eucharist. Worship. Through the act of worship. He offered worship to God, and through that act of worship, the sacrifice of the cross, we receive life. And so we receive life by participating and doing the very same thing Jesus did to bring us life, namely worship. On the cross, he offers perfect worship to the Father. We make present that same sacrifice in our act of worshiping the <coughs> Father as the body, mystical body of Jesus Christ. So when Jesus says to the apostles, do this in memory of me, he's commanding them to worship. And so if someone says, well, I, I don't need to go to church on Sunday, I pray at home. How do you worship? We can only worship by offering, by being invited by Christ to participate in his sacrifice. By the way, that's what we said is the meaning of active participation. Active participation is not necessarily somebody bringing um, a chalice to the altar, another one bringing a corporal, another one bringing a purificator, because they are actively participating. That's not the essence of active participation. The essence of active participation is to participate that in which only God can do. I can bring a purificator to the altar. I can bring a chalice. Okay? I can do that. But participating in only what God can do, I can't do. I can only do it by participation because it's only God who does it. So what is that which only God can do that I am invited to participate? That's why the essence of active participation at Mass is the 
Eucharistic prayer. They are seemingly, when we are not doing anything, the priest is, you know, praying. And we, baptismal priests, are praying. We are offering worship. We are participating in that, that which only God can do. It's only Jesus Christ who can offer perfect worship to the Father through the sacrifice of the cross, by the sacrifice of the cross. So we are invited to participate in that. That is the essence of active participation. Because if active participation were to be a lector, or an extraordinary minister, or doing this and that, okay, a sacristan, all those ministries are very good, and they are part of active participation. Okay? But if that is basically all we do, then what is the purpose? Or, how many sacristans do we need at every Mass? One or two. How many lectors? One or two. How many altar servers? Okay, how many ushers? So does that mean that the rest of the people are doing nothing? No. Because they are not actively participating, you know, doing things? No. At the Eucharistic prayer, all of us are actively participating in that which only God can do. That is the essence of worship. But unfortunately, during that time, it's where most people are switching off because they have nothing to do. It's only the priest up there doing something. So is that good? That was a long one. Like when you use a long Eucharistic prayer, you see people. Because we don't know what active participation is. Christ is offering and he's inviting us to offer with him and to offer him and to offer ourselves and we switch off. All the priest doing certain things, okay, we do it, priests, okay, doing certain things and doing whatever, the homily is long, whatever, then when it comes to the Eucharistic prayer, just do <laughs> Rushing through it. This is my body given up for you. This is my body given up for you. So it's, 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 it's like, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I, got out, I got you out of here in less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about a man who embarrassed a priest in somewhere. This priest was bragging that he got the people out of there in less than an hour. And this old man, older man came to me and said, Father, I didn't come here to celebrate an hour. I came to celebrate the Eucharist. Yes. He told him when all the people were there. Oh. A priest should know better yeah. that the Eucharistic prayer is active participation. But because I did my thing already, I made you laugh during the homily, now let's get out, get out of here. Let's get this thing done. Shh. Okay. Okay. So, so to keep the commandments is to correspond to the wisdom and the will of God as expressed in the work of creation. 349 and then we take a break. The eighth day. But for us, well, no, let's take a break. The eighth day is long. <laughs> it looks short, but it is long. 